How yeah. easy is it to get lost in the bush? Now, we wondered because um, there were some 1,700 search and rescue operations last year. That is around five a day. Who knew? Five a day is a lot. 144 of those people were rescued, but almost as many, 135, weren't so lucky. So, what do you need to do if you do get lost? Well, you need to watch this story first, because Lachlan went for a bushwalk himself and got into trouble very quickly. All right, let's do this thing then. For a story about getting lost, it was a perfect start. <laughs> I, di I didn't even look. At yeah. 90 minutes, the Kiko Loop in Kaimanawa Forest Park is a walk I wouldn't normally blink at. But according to Matt Gibson from the Mountain Safety Council, it's a walk that could easily go wrong. You don't have to be far off the track to not be able to see it. It does happen, and it happens often in New Zealand, unfortunately. Matt is here to keep me safe in the event of any stupid decisions or oversights. And I've already ignored most of the basics. Right. Do some research, plan your trip, tell someone where you're going and tell them when you'll be out, check the weather, and take sufficient supplies. Making my next mistake doesn't take long. Well, here's our scenario then. I am getting low on water. Okay. I am getting thirsty, and I can hear a stream down there. Yep. So I'm gonna go and find it. Okay. Now, if you think no one would do that in real life, think again. The most common things are probably trying to look for water, going to the bathroom, or just simply seeing something that they want to take a photo of, or any number of reasons. And if you're not thinking about it when you leave the trail, it's very easy to get turned around, particularly in some of the slicker stuff. As you head down through thick scrub, there are already signs not all is well. Hang on, so this is a deer trail I'm following, not a human trail? It is. Eventually, I reach the creek. I didn't realise how steep that was coming down here. I'm still confident, I know the trail's up there, we go straight up that way, I'm confident we'll hit it. So we're about to try. What I don't know is that the trail above us loops back on itself. Missing it will be very easy. So how long do you reckon we've been climbing now? Um, about 10 minutes. 10 minutes? It's actually closer to 25. And my confidence is about to plummet. After climbing that hill, I've got to this flat point I definitely didn't pass on the way down. I've now got slopes on both sides of me. There's no trail though. Takes to the track. That way. Okay. Would I be right? 100% no. You got distracted for two minutes. Because I'm looking at that thinking that's the downhill. I don't even know where the other downhill is. I, I have no confidence. I have a hunch, but no confidence. My sense of direction is utterly gone. Is that north? <laughs> You're just guessing now. I don't even know what ways the sun's going. Um, Do you know where you are right now? Um, no. And do you know how to get back to the car? No. Then you are lost. 100% lost. I'm lost and in trouble. So at this point, you would say, I'm going to stay right here. OK. Right. How do you feel about that? I don't have much option. I, I don't know what else I can do. While I have some basics with me, extra clothing, a pocket knife, survival blanket, food, it's nowhere near enough. I think with what you've got here, Lachlan, you can probably... I mean, you're not going to be comfortable tonight. I hate to break it to you, but you're not going to die. Well, that's a positive. Again, Matt's on hand to ensure I don't freeze, starve, or find some other way to die. So, shelter? Well, I had the emergency bag, but I didn't have string or any idea how to peg it out. All thanks to Matt, no thanks to me. Uh, this is where I am sleeping for the night. Shelter and warmth, but again, no thanks to me. After 10 minutes of trying, Matt stepped in to get this going. As night falls, there's nothing to do but wait and worry about what's out here with me. Oh God, it's wet. Surrounded by wetters. I've got my plastic blanket. Um, got pretty much all my clothing on. We'll see how the night goes. God, this is interesting. So, um, made a few mistakes. He oh. didn't, yeah, obviously. Oh, God, um, I don't care. <laughs> didn't tell anyone where he was going and clearly didn't have enough gear. So, there's two. Didn't check the weather 
had no way of getting out. You wait till you see the next bit because the ki the things that he does wrong and the things he did not take with him are embarrassing. So mm. after the break, we're going to find out how Lockie actually managed to emerge from this alive. Now yeah. back to Lockie where uh, we left him. Remember we left him, he was lost in the bush, um, sitting down for a cold night under an emergency shelter. It wasn't going well. No, he was complaining about the wetters. Mm. So how are things going to go for him? How is he going to get out? A bed for last night, I can tell you right now, I wouldn't want to be doing that any time again soon. It was quite cold, even in the middle of summer. Um, I was very glad to see it get light. So now that it is light, what are my options? What would be my chance of getting out here with a full day, full light? Well, that's the thing. It really depends on whether you're still lost or not. If you're still lost, then just walking off is probably going to do more harm than good. Again, Matt's made allowances for my inexperience. This is a, a PLB, Personal Locator Beacon. So that is going to be the difference between being found and potentially being lost for another night in the exactly. bush. Exactly. Yeah. So this thing here, um, you turn them on, switch them on, leave them on, don't turn them off. It takes a wee while for them to put a point on a map where you are, and then they'll send the cavalry and hopefully they won't be too far away. Meet Topor Land Search and Rescue. That's a training PLB we've activated and we've arranged to be one of their exercises. And they're zeroing in on our position pretty quickly. Roger. There are some simple ways to make their search easier. The best thing to do is stop and look for cover and look for shelter, look for, for warmth. And you can look for linear feature and get close to that because we're going to walk along ridges or along creek lines looking for you. But the best thing is just to stop and find shelter. A ridge line, that's where I am now. And what I need to do is wait, not wander. Right, we've just heard a whistle. So it sounds like our search party is pretty nearby. In fact, just over an hour after they've set off... Oh, I can see them. Oh, now well, that's a sight for sore eyes. So, you're the lost party, eh? Who, what's your name? Rescued. How far away was I? Uh, a maximum of two, two kilometres, maximum. Probably a bit less. Two k's. But in bush like this, even a few metres is enough. If I hadn't had a PRB, mm -hmm. what's the time frame we're looking at? Depends on whether you were responsive. If you were responsive, we probably could have done it in 24 hours or so, or a bit less than that. But um, if you weren't responsive, then a very long time. We'd be, we'd be tracking you by, by foot and tr looking for, for sign on the ground and maybe dogs. And that's even assuming that you knew I was in that forest? That's correct. If, if you, we don't know you're here, then you've got very little chance. Mm. So PLB makes a heaps difference. So if you're heading into the bush, even for a short walk or run, do not follow in my footsteps. OK, so he needed lots of equipment he didn't have, and here's some of it here. So you've got, he didn't have the jacket, he didn't have the map, see the map there in front of there, the water, need water. And look at this thing here, this is a personal um, locator beacon. OK, you need this sort of thing here, it's about 600 bucks. It will save your life. What's your life if worth? You, if you can't buy one of those things, you can actually rent it. Um, and don't, we've been told, don't set it off, so yes. put that thing back. <laughs> knife, definitely the knife, rope, uh, first aid kit, satellite phone or cell phone, compass, survival blanket and then a dry bag if you can. All of which, it appears, Lachlan Forsyth did not take mm, with him. And the rope, did we...? I said the rope. Okay, said yeah. the rope. Tie you up with that later yes. and punish you for saying that. No, you won't.